Hey everybody, so I really just wanted to make this video to recap and to process and to just um, show so much of the progress that I've made. Um, I've been spending a lot more time with my friends, I've been getting out, exploring the local area, and there have been some hiccups with my health um, in this time span, but overall things have just really been going up uh, health-wise and mental health-wise, and um, it's just so nice to be back, it, to feel like I'm getting back. And hopefully, hopefully this is the last, you know, being sick video that I even have to make and then I can get back to traveling the world and exploring and seeing new places uh, just everywhere. So, uh, thanks for following the journey. Hopefully, it's, this is the last one. First time I've been to a restaurant since COVID-19 quarantine. Shout out to Rachel for driving an hour to get food with me. We just didn't take a photo. My family kind of lives in the country, so I guess it's hay bale season. This is outside our house. Perry County, Pennsylvania, definitely like the country. 15 years of the same hike, same view, still beautiful. Taking my nieces on a day to a lake beach. 10 years of making the same jokes. Uh, these are my friends from high school. It's okay to take a break from just being productive and being a working part of society. Uh, I like this post from Instagram. Here's our really dirty puppy. We took her on a hike and she got wet and then she just rolled in a lot of dirt. Here is a uh, fam squad since 2002. These are my friends from uh, elementary school. Birthday weekend begins. The doctor also approved me uh, to drink alcohol. So I haven't drank alcohol in like seven months, but uh, I've can again. For my birthday that's coming up, I made a handmade pinata. So that I think that will be fun. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, had some health issues and uh, my blood was just really low and my stomach was hurting. Um, so I'm back in the hospital. Birthday party postponed. It is my birthday today and uh, here I am. So some recent issues, new medical plan, but hoping for the best. I was in the hospital for quite a few days, uh, but I did get to Skype my nieces. She said, when will you be home from the doctors? I said, they're just watching me for a few days. Her response was, but we can watch you at home. So why don't you come home? Uh, and these are my two nieces that I live with. Uh, throwback to yesterday when I left my hospital floor because uh, my friend came to visit, so we were walking around. But apparently that's not allowed and the nurses had to search the hospital for us. Just to uh, update everyone, a wild couple days, basically on my birthday, I was going in for like a routine checkup and my blood was really low and my stomach hurt so they sent me to the ER and um, I was like hey it's my birthday like I have a birthday party planned I have friends waiting for me at a restaurant but um, they ended up admitting me and they found blood clots in my liver and uh, it was damaging my intestines and uh, it was basically like hey I need to go my friends are waiting for my birthday and they were like, we're prepping you for surgery, you, uh, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. Uh, but luckily they decided against surgery and um, they basically just started a lot of new medicine and said I need to be a lot more cautious and aware uh, about bleeding um, because the medicine can cause that. Um, so I was a little sad just because I really felt like the last few months I was getting better. Um, but blood clots and, and issues like this were never out of the question. Um, the doctors always thought that this might happen in the future, and uh, it did. So this is just the start of that process. And um, we were worried for a while on what to do and how to fix it and all that, but we think we have a plan now. And finally today they just let me go home from the hospital. Uh, so I'm very happy to be out of the hospital and um, hopefully soon going to see my dog and uh, some friends. <laughs> so after about five days in the hospital, uh, back home and appreciating the sky and the country. New medicine, feeling better, uh, nightlife was a lot of fun, but 
Harrisburg nightlife was not social distancing. I was not expecting the crowd, but didn't get corona and uh, took the kids to the library. Almost every day we take the dog on a walk uh, at the park right next to our house. It's really nice. Still really passionate about the Black Lives Matter movement and there's just, you know, more conscious ways that we can really make a difference. A photo shoot day with the girls. I was trying to get them to take photos of me. They got a little tired, uh, so this is just a selfie. So 4th of July weekend, met some new friends, decided that we all go camping together. Good time, good vibes, good crew. Again, took my nieces to the lake beach. The new medicine I started uh, is like Solaris for PNH. Uh, is really expensive. Insurance for the win. We have a cat and the cat has just been a huge help uh, and comfort. Homemade clay kind of day with the girls. Taking Sammy on a walk again, she does this to herself. Our golden looking golden. I sat on a mountain and had a sing-along session with some of my favorite songs, all by myself. It was pretty nice and I enjoyed the view. I think the dog's a little lonely. Started a restaurant Thursday initiative where every Thursday I try to go to a restaurant with friends. This time we went to House of Vegan CFC. Look at this view. Next weekend we went to Shady Maple where they have a lot of corn. It's like a huge Amish buffet. My friend also has a really cute cat, Mrs. Uzi. So I'm still getting the equivalent to Solaris for PNH. Uh, the insurance bill came in and actually the hospital billed the insurance uh, $212,000 for this one-time visit to get this medicine, which is definitely a lot of money. <laughs> Luckily, it's insurance, so I don't have to pay anything. It is the fifth most expensive drug in the USA, apparently. Love the kids, love the dog. This is what I used to say to my doggie, or puppy, whatever you want to call her. Mm -hmm. You're my sweetie pie. Ooh, let the dog go. Ooh, look at their happy dance. Ooh, do you want to go on a walk? You want to go to the park? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Took an impromptu trip to Penn State, back at an old bar. Nice to be back in my college town. Went camping, so I was awake to enjoy the morning sun. Reasons to always have a tent on hand, definitely an impromptu camping trip. I uh, started working on my blog again, went to this mud bog in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Uh, so there'll be a video about that. Uh, I wishing, I'm wishing that I was gallivanting the world, but in reality, my body is beat. This week was again a reminder that my body needs rest. My mind says yes, but my body says no. I had a great time, again, working on a different video for my vlog, uh, but my body is just so exhausted. School's about to start soon, so day one of last week of summer before school starts for the kids, ice cream sundaes, and a Disney movie. Hi! <laughs> again, uh, just out and about, taking the dog, getting out with people. Um, just a dog and some peeps. And again, uh, another dog photo. But a uh, short hike with the niece and the dog. So definitely thinking back through Charlotte, you know, I spent so much time inside, so much time by myself, uh, that now that, you know, a lot of the restrictions were lifting with COVID quarantining, um, I was just so ready to be back out and so ready to see people and um, just explore again. And that's really what this time has been doing. I was just really appreciating the time I have with people. So basically, my blood's not back to normal yet, but it is getting higher. The, the doctors now think that I have more uh, PNH. You know, basically PNH is more driving the issues with my body um, instead of aplastic anemia or bone marrow failure for uh, basically the rest of my life. Um, and it gets, it's an IV. But we're still, you know, seeing how things go and what happens. But overall, uh, with this medicine, you can live a pretty normal and uh, pretty long life. So, hoping for the best. And like I said, you know, maybe this really is the, the last video that I post about being sick. So, we'll see. Thanks for following the journey. Mm -hmm.